All right, in this video, let's go ahead and use conditional formatting to make it easy for us to find um, information that um, we need to find based on the value of it, based on the text that's within the cell. Um, we're gonna start off by looking at um, statistical tests that have p-values calculated. So anytime you have a p-value less than 0 0.05, we say it is statistically significant. So basically it's something that gives you the ability to then go and interpret the data and um, you know f basically say that there's an interesting finding happening here within the data. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, we have all this data up here for our subjects, um, but going down to the bottom here, we have a couple different places where we calculated p-values already in previous uh, videos in this playlist. So we have the um, t-test p-value. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the word p there just so uh, it's clear that that's the p-value. And we also have the p-value down here for uh, correlation. So we have calculated p-values twice. Um, so let's uh, let's just go to the bottom one. Let's do the correlations first. Um, so I'm gonna click on the cell where I want to um, add conditional formatting. And I'm gonna go, so I'm on the Home tab. Right here it says conditional formatting. I'm going to click this and I want to highlight the cells if there's you know something that I'm looking for happens and I'm gonna do the less than option. So I'm gonna highlight the cells and then click less than. All right and I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, click the down arrow right here where it's telling me what kind of formatting I want to do and I'm gonna go to custom format. So let's click that and it's gonna bring up this Addition, these additional options for formatting. What I like to do is I like to change the fill of the cell. If it's statistically significant, I want it to change to like a light green color, um, maybe maybe this one here. Um, and so it, it's gonna pop out without being obnoxious at the same time. So it's gonna be really easy to find. So I'm gonna click OK. And now I need to tell it what it's looking for. So it's looking for a value that's statistically significant. So less than 0 0.05. And since I'm on the less than function, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to put 0 0.05. And I'm going to click OK. All right. This value is not below 0 0.05. So it didn't change the formatting at all. If I were to drag this across, so I'm dragging the whole cell, including the formula across right now. This one next to it, it's a negative exponent, which means it's actually a really small number. So it's uh, e to the negative 165, so you'd have to move the decimal place 165 times to the left. So it's a very small number. Um, but so it's less than 0 0.05 for sure, and it turns the cell green. Another way you can do this, um, if you don't want to um, drag the uh, formula across uh, is, so I'll keep that there for the moment. Uh, I'm gonna click this cell and I'm gonna go to the Format Painter. And I'm gonna click the Format Painter while the cell was already highlighted. And I'm gonna go to another cell where I want the exact same formula to go. And so I'll go up here to um, where the t-test p-value is and I'm gonna click there. And now that has also uh, been formatted with conditional formatting. So if I drag that across, um, I'm not sure if there's anything statistically significant in this. So I'm gonna drag it across my whole data set and see how oh, this last one should be, yep. So this is less than 0 0.05, so it popped up as green, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. Um, let's go ahead and do the same thing across our correlation p-values too. So you can see how that would look. And so now as we scroll across, any of the green cells are places where there was a statistically significant result. So you can see how quickly I can scroll through that and I saw several results that are statistically significant. So when you're doing um, some data mining in order to you know, come up with new questions to ask in new studies, or if you just have a number of comparisons built in that you knew you were going to do a priori, this is a really quick way of finding out what is and what is not statistically significant. You can also do additional formatting, um, additional conditional formatting. So let's show you how you can do that. So let's go back to our original cell. So let's go to the Pearson correlation p-value cell for the peak diameter. And let's go back to the conditional formatting. 
All right, so we can go to manage rules and you can see one of our rules that's still there. Um, I'm gonna hit close out of that though for now. So I'm gonna do the conditional formatting again and I'm gonna do highlight cell rules and I'm gonna do between now, okay? So I'm gonna do between and uh, basically we're doing the same thing. Let's, uh, let's make a custom format here. So drop down arrow, click custom format. So let's choose a color that suggests that it's, you know, it's trending towards significance. So it's something that you should look out for, but it's not quite there yet. So uh, yellows, you know, light yellow maybe. So I'll click this cell here. It's kind of like a light yellow and I'm gonna click okay. Um, and now we need to tell it what to look for in between. So, you know, there's not a standard uh, threshold for what's a trend. I typically say um, something for the low end, maybe we'll do 0 0.0499999, a bunch of nines, right? So that's um, below 0 0.05, um, but a, not far enough below where we're likely to see that exact number. Because um, remember, we want it to turn green if it's below 0 0.05. Um, and then for the top end, let's put uh, 0 0.1. All right, so now basically anything between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 are gonna turn up our, our light yellow color. So let's drag that across and see if anything pops up. So I dragged it across all of the cells and let's look, oh, here's one. So you can see that 0 0.06 is above 0 0.05, but below 0 0.0, was below 0 0.1. So it is a, you know, a trending uh, statistic, um, statistically trending. Again, not really a real thing, but it's something that people do in order to um, interpret small sample size studies like this a lot. Um, Let's just copy our formatting again from our correlation cell to our t-test cell, and let's drag that across too so we have the same trending uh, yellows that will pop up. And you can see a number of those popping up as well. So again, really quick, easy way of finding out where your trends or your significant um, comparisons or uh, values are. So let's go and put some um, some conditional formatting into our, our outliers row so it pops up and lets us know that there's an outlier with a color so it's really easy to find. So let's just scroll across here until we find one. In right here, column K, there is a, it says yes, high. It means yes, there's an outlier and it's a high outlier. So let's add conditional formatting. I'll just, I'll use that column as my starting point but we'll copy it across. Um, so conditional formatting. Um, go to highlight cells if, go to equal, and what we need to do is put in all the possible scenarios. So we're going to do three different ones here because we have three different scenarios where there could be an outlier. So if you look at the formula that I've typed in, the possibilities for outliers, it says yes both, yes high, which is what we have, and yes low. So let's do the yes both, then we'll do the yes low, and then we'll do the yes high. And the last one is where it should turn red. All right, so um, let's put in here uh, yes both. So it's the first one right there. And let's make it, so if there's an outlier that's both, let's make it a you know red color. Um, and click OK. It didn't turn red. We knew it wouldn't because it doesn't say yes both. Let's add another one. So conditional formatting, highlight cells equal to, let's make this also that, that dark red color. And now let's do yes low, which still won't make it pop up on this particular cell, but if it was yes low, it would. So I typed yes low here, which I got from my formula. Um, so that's one of the words in the formula that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna click okay. And again, didn't turn red. So let's do the one that actually will show us for this particular um, cell. So conditional formatting, highlight rules equal to change the, the formatting to custom, dark red, okay. And now let's finally put the yes high in. See, it's already turning red on me. And that tells me that that is an outlier. So I can now look for color rather than having to look through and read all the text. So let's copy this across left, 
then we'll copy across right as well so it pops up so here's another yes high so as I copy this across it should make that red and it did so we have another high outlier right there um, let's copy it across the rest of the data though and so now we can quickly scan across looking for significant or trending p-values we can quickly scan across and see Oh, right there, there's two different um, potential high outliers that we need to investigate to make sure that the data is correct. 